Using keyboard shortcuts is a great way to keep you moving fast without having to always stop and go up to the menus or to the toolbars. For example, if I were drawing and then I wanted to pan this drawing, I could switch over to the pan tool, this hand tool, and start moving things around and then switch back to the brush. Or if I decided to use keyboard for this, I could simply hit the space bar, which activates that hand tool, and then when I let go, I would still be using the brush. So that's something that's very convenient. By the way, for undo, which I use all the time, of course, you can click the undo button or the redo button, but alternately, you can hit the undo keystroke, which is control Z or command Z depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac. So using keyboard shortcuts is great, and this is a way to lead into finding how you can make up your own keyboard shortcuts. If you go into Preferences, you'll open up a window, and right the very first thing that you'll see is an option for shortcuts, because there may be a tool that you like to use that you want to customize. So I'd like to make a keyboard shortcut for the light table. So I will go to our preferences and the first tab under preferences is shortcuts and under shortcuts there's many different tabs that cover you know the different tools that can be basically turned into shortcuts so here under drawing tools there is a light table and currently you can see that there is no current shortcut set to that and there's no default shortcut set to it so for the light table, I want to add uh, a key, and I'll just keep it simple. I'll make it the letter L. And to assign that, I'll go up here and tap in this empty box, type in the letter that I'm choosing, or the key combination that I want to be assigned to the light table. So I press in L, so I press OK. And now from now on, instead of going to View Light Table, I have that choice. I can also just hit the letter L and you can see the little light bulb is now tied in with that keystroke and it's toggling on and off.